In this lesson, we will discuss slicing in NumPy. So first of all, you have to import NumPy as NP. And then here, I am going to make a matrix. So I have to use np.arrange function. This is the NumPy function, which we had discussed in our previous lesson as well. In parentheses, I have to assign the range. So I said my matrix should start from 101 to 200, right? If you need till 200, then you have to write down 201 because 201 is exclusive. If you will run from here to here, this syntax will provide you 1D array. But in the same line, in the same syntax, I want to convert 1D array into 2D. That is why we have to use dot reshape function. So this is the reshape. And in parentheses, this is again one of the most important thing. The product C 10 multiplied by 10, which is equal to 100. So here in our matrix, we have 10 elements. So the product of reshape should be exactly equal to the elements number which we are going to assign when I will run it so you will see we have a big matrix starting from 101 to 200 because 201 was exclusive now suppose if you want to retrieve any particular element in from this matrix i am going to start from 101 suppose you want to retrieve 101 so always you have to provide the index number of row first so array 1 is the variable name see i have assigned here array 1 and then in a square bracket this zero represents the index of the row and then this the second zero represents the index of the column because indexes start from 0 0 1 2 3 and so on so when I will run this you will see the output is 101 similarly if you want to retrieve suppose 194 or 155 whatever I will show you 194 so here you have to write down the index number of the row as there are 10 rows but index start from 0 so the index of the last row is 9 and then for 194 this is 0 index of the column 1 2 and 3 so here I will write down 3 when you will run it you will see the output is 194 now you can practice the same way whatever number you want to retrieve first write down the index of the row and then column if you want to see the dimension of this 0 0 which is 101 or any particular number you will see in the output 0 0 means that this is the scalar right okay now suppose if you want to retrieve a single row complete row so array whatever is the name of your variable and in the square bracket you have to write down 0 because 0 represents row 1 all the elements of row 1 is there in the form of 1D array. Similarly, if you want to retrieve fifth, right, uh, fifth row, then you have to write down 6 index here and execute it. So this is the output. But if you want to see the dimension of this array, so the output is 1 because it was 1 dimension array. Now, if you want to retrieve a column, so see there is a difference. If I see you have to retrieve this row, first row, so you will say 0. But if I will say you will, you have to retrieve first column, again it is 0. But there is a little bit difference in syntax for the column. You have to write down like this. Here you do not have to write down anything and then colon. It means all the rows. We need all the rows of the 0 and the 0 is the first column and this is the output but this output is in the form of 1d array if you want to convert this in 2d array then what syntax you have to write down same thing array 1 array 1 right here to here is the same syntax after this you have to write down 0 because the 0 is the index of first column and then colon 1 right system will generate the first column with the help of this 0 when it will move to 1 because 1 is exclusive again it will come back to 0 executed now the output is in the form of 2d array or in a vertical order right if you want to see i hope this concept is clear 
Now if you want to see the dimension of this, so dimension is now 2D. For this one, dimension is 1D array and this is the 2D array. So you can convert 1D into 2D. Now if you want to retrieve some particular elements or a slice of a matrix. So first again, I will show you what is our array number 1. Array 1 is this. Suppose if you want to retrieve a particular slice starting from 133 to 167 or 117 to 150, right? Yes, you can retrieve. So what is the syntax and how you can retrieve it? You have to write down the name of your variable. Then starting from to whatever you want right I want to start from 2 so 0 1 2 it will start from here from this row if you want you can start from third row fourth whatever is your requirement and then and is fifth so 5 is exclusive it will start from here then 2 3 and 4 and it stop here now these are the rows this is the first two represent the rows and then is the column right so column is 3 to 7 means index 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. It will start from here and then 3, 4, 5, 6. It will stop here because 7 is exclusive. When I will run it, I will show you. It will be much more clear to you. This is the slice of some specific, uh, specific matrix. Right? It will start from 2 to 5, but not, not every, uh, every number. Every number should start from 3 is to 7. 7 and 5 are exclusive right now you can change this number and play with it now to get all the rows and few columns if you want all rows and few column so here if you want to retrieve all rows do not write down anything here and this is for the column column uh, start index will start from 2 and it, it will stop at 4 because 5 is exclusive when i will run it you will see this is the output all the rows but it will stop at fourth index of the column now to access whole matrix if you want to retrieve whole matrix the easiest way is write down array underscore one whatever is the name but if you will write down in the square bracket this colon execute it you will receive the or output is complete or whole matrix similarly if you can write down two time colon if you will put two time colon execute it same output is same third method is that if you will put two times colon between the colon comma execute it again same output and there is another way write down array whatever is the name right uh, oh, sorry so here i can remove this like this right it means all the rows we need we need all the rows and column should start from zero this is zero and then it should end at 10th that is why i have written here 11 because 11 is exclusive when you will run it you will see the same output so there are three or four different ways how you can retrieve the whole matrix so i hope slicing in numpy is clear to you please practice it see you in the next lesson and thank you